Greetings! I have made another DCPU16 program using the pixel graphics I showed in a recent video. This one draws fractals, namely the Mandelbrot and Julia sets. There is an older video on my channel where I show those in a higher resolution. If you're interested in fractals or want to compare the results of this DCPU program, I suggest you watch it. As you can see, I am increasing the number of iterations in my program right now for drawing a Julia set. It started off with a circle, which you get if you do only one iteration. And the more iterations you do, the higher the quality of the fractal we will get. You can zoom in and move around with the keyboard. I have zoomed in one level and moved a bit to the top. And as you can see, it's taking a bit of time to draw itself. And that's why I'm going to cheat a little bit and disable the clock limiting on my emulator. Now instead of about 100 kilohertz, it's running at 10 megahertz. So it's running at 100 times its specified clock speed. So now we can have a better look at these fractals and it's more interactive so we don't have to wait for it to draw that much. So this is a typical Julia set, which you might recognize, but you can have a look at my other video to see it in a better quality. But you can zoom in quite a bit and browse around and explore it. It's not that big of a zoom factor, but you can see some details. And we can move around and also we can change the parameter of this Julia set. So if you know a bit about them, you know that it takes one complex number as a parameter and it looks different depending on what you choose for that value. So let's try to find another, diff another pretty configuration. Let's go back in the iteration so it draws faster. Let's go here. This might look nice. Around here. Yeah. So this is completely interactive. You can choose any parameter you want and it will draw it for you. Unfortunately, these pixel drawing methods I have made only work with two by two pixels. So the DCPU uh, has double the, re the resolution it's showing right now, but the way I am drawing it, it only uses half of that resolution. But you can still make out some of the details. As I have mentioned, this program can draw the Mandelbrot set too, as you can see. But unfortunately, because of the very limited zooming you can do, you can't make out its details which make this fractal so pretty. You can see some of the edges and you can make out some of the bigger details you see in typ typical images of the Mandelbrot set, but the interesting parts only begin at deeper zoom levels. For the computations, this program uses 16-bit fixed point arithmetic. So if you are used to programming normal PCs, you would usually use floating point arithmetic, which uses either 32 or 64 bit values. And here I don't even have that precision. So that's what is mainly limiting the amount of zooming you can do. And also if you have a look at the images with um, few iterations, you will see errors above and below the fractal. These dots shouldn't be there. I had to do a lot of compromises between accuracy and speed and the bits which I had available. Also this is the first time I have messed around with fixed point computations. So far in my programs I, I always had floating point calculations were possible, but when you program the DCPU you have limitations like these and you learn new things and it was a lot of fun to program this. 
If you're interested in trying out this program, I have linked the source code in the video description. I have only tested it on my own emulator, which gives me this high speed, which is very useful for this slow program, but it doesn't use any special features I have included. So it should work on any spec conforming emulator out there.